All right, so I'm going through my collection today. This is a new acquisition. All right, this is called uh, Edwards E Dash. I want to say LPJR, or maybe it's just E Dash JR for Junior. All right, this is Edwards Guitars version of a Gibson Les Paul Junior double cutaway. This particular guitar is 15 years old and I bought it from Japan. Um, a lot of people don't know this but Edwards is actually made by ESP. This is one of their branded companies and there's another company called Bernie which is very similar but they're made by Fernandez. So for this one I've had a couple of these in the past. They're excellent build quality for the money you pay for them. They're pretty true to spec, meaning that they don't use any scarf joints. They're one-piece necks, right neck angle, very similar to a real Gibson Les Paul. Right? You can see it. The neck joint is the same. It's in, important to note the neck heel, because that's kind of a dead giveaway on some of the Gibsons of how they design. So these are really taken true to spec, and you can't buy this in the United States as a new instrument because of licensing and, and copyright infringement. You can only get them used. So I did, I bought this from China, uh, excuse me, Japan, a uh, private dealer. And the pick guard was original, which is a Bakelite. The original pickup that was in here was a Seymour Duncan P90. I replaced it. I put a throwback in here. Um, if you've not heard about throwback pickups before, it's T-H-R-O-B-A-K. Go check them out. In my mind, they actually make the best Gibson True Spec uh, historic uh, vintage style pickups. So this is a dog-eared one and it's called dog-eared because it has these little ears that go over the front. Um, but it's, it's a great pickup. A lot of people I think misunderstand what a P90 is. A P90 when it's built it has 10,000, well it's supposed to have, it's how the originals were made. <clears throat> Back in Kalamazoo, Michigan they wrapped them with 10,000 windings of copper wire. When they made the humbucker pickup, it was taken from this, and what they did was they made two bobbins, and each bobbin contains 5,000 windings. So bolted them together with the change in polarity of the magnets, that creates the hum canceling that everybody knows as a humbucker. But the original P90s are basically like a super steroid single coil pickup. Um, I'm actually about to replace the, the wiring in here. I have a bumblebee cap and some CTS parts that I just purchased and some braided wire. I'm going to put this into basically what would be considered a true spec um, vintage style guitar. Very similar to what Gibson would have had in, in here originally. Um, but these were really, you know, these are great instruments for the money if you can find them. Awesome playing. Uh, Rosewood fingerboard on this one. Mahogany body, all mahogany. There's no maple cap or anything like a, like a Les Paul. Um, yeah, very cool. Um, Tuners are old school. These were actually made as student guitars. And they were, <clears throat> back in the day, if you bought an original Gibson one, you know, back in the 50s, they were pretty inexpensive compared to the Les Paul. Now you're looking for a real one online, a real Gibson, and they're, they're just out of touch for a lot of players, especially if you just want to add one to your collection. So, but this one here, if you're looking for uh, the same vibe and you like the, you know, the book headstock, uh, which I do. I don't like the Epiphone headstocks, um, which they make and other companies do, but I, this is the, the style I was looking for, so that's why I sought it out. Again, Edwards, made by ESP. All right.